as we pointed out time and time again, people ignore the other gun crime that's out there when they want to grab the guns. The anti-gun people ignore the fact that black people are responsible for over half of the homicides in the United States, even though they only make up 13% of the population. In major cities like New York, um, African Americans comprise over 70% of shooting arrests. Hispanics comprise about 25% whites there in New York. This is part two of my interview with Jim Mars. Now, I wanted to talk to you about a lot of people are, are concerned with this disclosure project and they're wondering what's going on. And I feel like we are kind of being really prepped for something. Now, many, many years ago, Reagan actually actually said how great it would be if there was some sort of an invasion from outer space, because then everyone would get together and, and we would all be one human race. Uh, so we've kind of ha been having little drips of that and how that could tie into a one world government. Uh, but, you know, Stephen Hawking came out 2010, said, don't contact aliens. They're much, much more advanced. Just uh, yesterday on The Independent, the scientist, a scientist warns the world to think twice before replying to alien signals from outer space, because once again, they're probably much more advanced. Well, anger over the toxic mine spill has boiled over after it was revealed that the amount of toxic water that was released into the Animas River was actually rolls. Now, EPA officials are saying it's going to be about August 17th until it's given the all clear. So that's just, what, six days away. Now, mind you, uh, and uh, almost a week later now, members of the Navajo Nation are demanding that the federal government take action. He's coming out like that as well. Um, now, wh what about Project Bluebeam? At them the other day where they talk about um, interacting with these people and and they were human-like, but a little bit taller, and they had lasers on their ships. And then these are Pentagon documents, and when you click on it at the .gov site, there's a big warning that comes up and says, these are old, and it's probably, we don't probably agree with what's here, but in public interest, here are these documents. And population wouldn't believe him anyway. Right, and especially, you know, the Vatican ushering on our extraterrestrial brothers. For me, that's a huge Project Blue Beam red light. Well, Jim Mars, thank you so much. I know you talk about a, a little bit of, of this stuff in, in one of your books, Our Occulted History. Uh, there's a lot of uh, other uh, books. Also, all starts with the premise that UFOs are real. So who are they and what do they want? Interesting. And, and that, I've been told, has become the top-selling nonfiction book on UFOs in the world. Wow. Well, congratulations. All right. Jim Mars, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, immediately in the wake of the Lafayette Theater shooting, we are seeing the left sharpening its claws for gun control. Quite funny, since that's not what we were hearing all last week when it was a Muslim shooter. Now, 59-year-old John Russell Hauser has been identified as the shooter in this, and we are seeing people rushing to Twitter, demanding that because of that, all white men must be disarmed, uh, even though white people are responsible for just two and a half percent of all gun crime in major cities like New York. Now, you can just take a look at all of the tweets there. Mass shooters are always alone white males. Prohibit gun sales to life. The left is not going to blame all Muslims for the Chattanooga shooting. They did not call for gun control. I mean, really, they did not call for gun control after... The Marines were shot. The president didn't even put flags at half mast and wouldn't even dare utter the words Islamic extremism because that does not fit the agenda. Now, let's take a look at the way Alex Jones kind of broke this down for us. So there it is. We see this agenda play out again and again. The only time we are going to hear these calls for gun control is when the suspect is the stereotypical white male because that fits the agenda of right wing extremists. Every time we see a Muslim going on a shooting spree, the left basically falls all racist. So that standard is, is not applied the other way. It's not racist to say all white people need to have their guns taken away. Paul Joseph Watson points out uh, that in the aftermath of the Boston bombings, the news outlets like Salon, they were insisting that all Muslims need... Coming up, David Knight will be joining me in studio to talk about a new report coming out of the Department of Defense warning about the future of warfare, and it predicts drones and super soldiers are going to be manning the skies and on the battlefield. And that is an insane report. But first, 
The amazing journalist and author Jim Mars will be joining me in studio to discuss his new book, 